earlier we talked about wine and cheese plates, but if you don't have time to create your own, our next guest has some ideas for some comfort food wine pairings like how about these cheese crackers, oh, Courtney? Oh, my word. And we're talking cheeseburgers, a grilled mac and cheese sandwich, even cheese crackers. Our girl, Tangie Patton of Good Taste TV, is here to explain. We're just going to eat and drink. You can talk. <laughs> Ready, go. <laughs> OK. All right. So we're talking cheese and wine pairing, but we're doing it in a way that maybe is a little more um, friendly with the way we're living right now mm -hmm. because everything is kind of turned upside down, right? So I wanted to pick some comfort foods. Every once in a while, we need to treat ourselves because we're dealing with so much other stuff out there that I thought would be fun. So I've got a bacon cheeseburger. I mean, when you think comfort, who doesn't love oh, a good wow. word? Um, I don't know about you guys, but this uh, toll on our restaurant friends, Bernie's Burger Bus is a huge loss. Yes. And uh, I still have such fond memories of my favorite burgers there. But if the burgers like you'd get at Bernie's are a bacon and cheese burger. You've got lots of great rich flavors going on. Of course, you've got the meat, but you've got that savory, salty bacon. You've got the ooey gooey melted cheese, right? So I like a Malbec. And I think a Malbec gives you that deep, rich flavor of some of the dark fruits, maybe the dark cherry, a little bit of plum, but there's some little bit of smokiness and spiciness on us as well, and a little bit of acidity. So it kind of cuts through a lot of fat on the burger. I love this one. This is Clos de los Siete, Argentinian grapes, a rock star winemaker from France, Michel Galan. Um, it's just a fantastic wine. It's less than $15 a bottle. It's a perfect, hamburger wine. And this is the wine, Tangi, you dropped off at our studio, so we're sipping it now, and it's easy to spot yeah. the star on that label. Oh, it's a beautiful bottle. I mean, everything about that wine just sings. I mean, there, it, it hits it on all points. Price point, taste. Um, mm. The winemaker truly is world-renowned. It's a great wine for less than $15 a bottle. So you can get that one at your favorite wine store. It's it really phenomenal. is lovely. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. Delicious. Yeah, it's a good one. I thought you guys would like that. I wanted y'all to try it. So think grilled cheese, love it. Mac and cheese, another awesome comfort food. So we've combined the two. Oh, so say wow. hello to the grilled cheese with mac and cheese. Wait a minute, oh, Tangie. So I'm comfort. not losing my mind. This is what I had said earlier. Yes. Actual mac and cheese on a sandwich. Yes. Genius. Yes. It can be done. And it's fantastic. And so you've got so much richness with the butter, with the, the mac and cheese, and then the cheddar that you melted on or whatever cheese you choose. I chose a sparkling. So sparklings, again, bright, effervescent, lots of acidity. They're going to cut through a lot of the fat. If you buy champagne, you're going to spend probably $50 or more for a truly wonderful bottle but you don't have to go to Champagne to get a great bottle. I love this one. This is JCB. Hope you guys can see the label okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, a Cremant de Bourguignon. So Cremant being, it's not made in Champagne, mm -hmm. but it's just out there in Burgundy and same process that they make Champagne with. The grapes just aren't go grown in the Champagne region. So hence they don't get that brand value and the price is quite a bit lower. This is about 19, 20 bucks a bottle. Oh at yes. It's fantastic. It's nice. a great go-to sparkling. Okay, so we're trying to be sort of healthy right now, right? Because I don't know about you guys, but the COVID-5 has definitely been in my house. I, <laughs> I did buy, I was one of the guys that went on Amazon and bought um, elastic pants. So, <laughs> true story. <laughs> true story. So I wanted to have a salad, but I wanted to add a little bit of comfort to it. So what I've done is add some crunchy little, I don't know if you guys can see this, yeah. some crunchy little chicken tenders. There's a phenomenal brand, and Courtney, with, with your boys, you probably already know this. The ATV has these little uh, breaded chicken strips. Yes, yeah, I've had that they're, brand. Yes, I, they're so good and crunchy at home. They are. Like I'm a restaurant a quality. chicken nugget fan, but let's face it, if you have kids, you're serving a lot of chicken nuggets all sure. the time, right? Mm -hmm. And it just makes the salad feel a little more comfort food. And so I pair with that a Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio's great salad, um, wines all the time. This is a really good find at HEB, the Luna de Luna, mm -hmm. uh, carefully cultivated in Italy, as it will tell you on the label, but it, it really is. It, it too is less than $15 a bottle. 
and it's just bright citrus flavors. A lot of, um, it's got that racy acidity you want with the salad because if you're doing a vinaigrette, it can be a little challenging to pair the perfect one. Okay, the cheese snacks we've all been talking about. <laughs> Probably have some of everyone's favorite, you know, snacks around, whether it's the tortilla chips with all the cheese or the little square ones that are popping up here and there, cheese that you name it, they're everywhere. These are actually, if you're doing the snack thing and you kind of want to elevate it with a little bit of wine, these things go with almost anything. They're good with the Chardonnay, they're good with the sparkling, they're good with a Pinot Noir because you really get some of the cheese flavors. Um, cheeses in general pair better with white wines. These are even good with beer. I mean, whatever your, your snack passion is, those little cheese snacks are probably worth the calories this day and time. So let's think chocolate. One of your viewers said she thinks of herself as chocolate. So two, two options, a Cabernet, a Cabernet that doesn't have a lot of strong uh, tannins. You want something a little more mellow. This is the Sagelands Cab. This one too is available at HEB and it's a Washington State Cab. Washington State Cabs in general are a little bit softer than their Napa counterparts. So they go really well with chocolate. And you, you can always do a sweet wine. There are some folks that that's all they want. And right now, I'm a big believer with COVID around, let's have what we want. Um, this is the San Antonio Winery Cardinal. Now it's a little deceiving, San Antonio Winery, but the grapes are actually coming from um, California. Mm. So it's, but it's sweet. So this is a great dessert wine. Anytime you're doing a dessert, you want the wine to be as sweet as, or sweeter to make it all kind of work together. Oh, interesting. That's a good tip. And yeah. when we're talking about uh, chocolate tangy, I know that can mean a lot of different things. Are we talking milk chocolate, dark chocolate, extra dark chocolate, semi-sweet, what? Well, oh. in my life, there is only one real chocolate, and that is dark chocolate. <laughs> but there are those that will differ with me on that. But <laughs> honestly, the milk chocolate has, is sweeter than dark chocolate. So a dark chocolate that's really rich with a little bit of the bitterness that comes with natural cow beans and all that, um, you, you can get away with a cab. A Merlot is probably a perfect choice as well. And that Sage Lens Cabernet has enough cocoa notes in it that I think it would work very well with the dark chocolate as well. I love it. We're keeping it real with good wine and some <laughs> proper snack foods, Tangie. It's always great to see always. you. <laughs> Sweet with just a little bit of bitterness, like our personalities, right, Courtney? <laughs> Tangie, thank you so I much. Take that. <laughs> thank you for the snack. My Cheez-Its are pretty much gone. As a reminder to our viewers, you can find Tangie's wine and comfort food pairings on our website, HoustonLife.tv. And by the way, don't forget to catch Good Taste with Tangie Saturday and Sunday mornings on KPRC Channel 2. Right here, set your DVRs for 5.30 a.m. That show always makes so me good. so hungry. <laughs>